Robot Wars. The nation's most violent, competitive and thrilling TV talent contest ended in 2003. Ten years on, it has evolved into a spectacular live show. It's engineering, creativity and entertainment. Let the wars begin! At Kingsway Leisure Centre in Widnes, founder John Finlay and former Robot Wars contestant is setting up the arena for his next live show. Hopefully we will have two really good shows, um, entertaining for the audience, um, Roboteers happy because they want to fight with their robots, um, and hopefully we can start, this is a new city that we're coming to, this is a new um, set of audience, so they'll go home happy and they'll, they'll, they'll tell all their friends and spread the word. I saw the TV show, um, it's my dad's fault really, he phoned me up and said you could do that and I thought oh, I'll have a go at doing that so I sort of pulled my remote control car apart and I built a really simple robot, um, went down to the filming and then all of a sudden got very scared, I thought I was going to do really well, the robot lasted about 10 seconds and it got destroyed. I started off watching it on TV when I was little, saw it was really good, wanted to get involved and from there I found a magazine called Real Robots which showed you a step by step guide on how to build one, followed that with my dad and uh, came to our first event and it was downhill from there on in. We've kept building bigger and better robots ever since. My lad was watching the television show and he said, Dad, could you build one of these? And I watched, watched it for a bit and said, I can build a better one than that. So I had a missus shouted from the kitchen, well, go on then. So I did. Um, but when the show ended, um, obviously there was hundreds of roboteers left with their robots. We didn't really know there was much going on. So we started going around online, seeing if there was anyone else still doing it. What started to happen was like underground fights, so fights in um, pub car parks, and it was getting dangerous. Um, I didn't go to any of those, I wasn't really in the know where they were, but I knew they went on. Um, so I decided that rather than the robots rusting away in their sheds, I thought I'd create my own arena uh, just to keep the robots fighting in a safe environment. Competition rises as the battle lineup is drawn. Uh, I think we've got the best competition draw out overall. We've got some Ones which I should be able to beat quite easily, one which is going to be really tricky, it's the one that beat us in the UK Championships last year. So it'd be nice to get some revenge on Big Nipper for that one. Yeah, you just want to have a bit of fun, you want your robot to work well. I don't like losing when something silly breaks. If something silly breaks, that annoys me. But if I get beaten by a bit better machine, that's, that's part and part, that's the thought, isn't it? Personally for me, Ripper will be taking part, hopefully I'm going to win and take home the trophy, but my form at the moment isn't very good, and so I've got my fingers crossed that Ripper's going to do really well. The seats are filling up as the Roboteers make their finishing touches. So you get, you know, a, a thousand or so people in. It's a good buzz as well, and they get really into it, and they're passionate fans as well. So you, you can't help but, but get involved, really.
that. Okay, last 10 seconds. Count down, everyone. Eight, seven, six, five, four. First show over, the Roboteers speed to repair the damage and prepare for more weapons, more flames, and even more carnage in the next robot battle. Fantastic shows. Um, Ripper didn't do so well, but congratulations to Iron All Five and double X UK champion. Um, they took home the trophy. They are the champions of Witness 2013. Thank you for everyone that came. Reverteers and Sterling Drive. Brilliant. The successful live shows have reborn the Robot Wars brand. We're currently um, trying to showcase what Robot Wars is about and that it's still popular and trying to get it back on TV. That's the aim. Um, they want it back on TV, we want it back on TV and we've got such a great product um, that hopefully in the future we can. And we always sell out the shows, so it's, you know, we sort of find that people are asking for it now. There's no real shows which people build things for anymore and there's so many different robots that never made it onto TV that I think it would be a good opportunity to come back and show everyone what we can do now. In terms of what we have in the UK at the moment, there is a lack of good engineers and there's this perception that engineering is getting your hands dirty and boring and it's hard work whereas this is an exact prime example as that engineering isn't that it can be fun it can be creative and you can create some weird and wonderful machines um, and this is such a great opportunity to showcase what actually engineering is all about. Yeah.